Okay, so 3D word from any input, as we can see, video to 3D, image to 3D. And they have a little interesting animations directly on their web page. As we can see, the triangulation of a minion. Also has a small animation for the eyes. There are other elements also animated. So in order to create a 3D model using CSM, all you have to do is log in. It's also free now. There is a waiting list, but if you apply, you can get access. We're going to see over here image to 3D. We can either upload or drag and drop an image over here or generate it using Discord. I already have some models over here in training. For some, we can see that training failed, but for others, it's still training. While the ones that are completed will have this done. And if I will move, move my mouse on top of those, we're going to see those outputs. So some of them are better some of them are not that great as we can see for this cybertruck concept some of them are really weird <laughs> like this this one is really really wide so i want to show some of the community showcase examples so these are the ones that are quite detailed so their quality is quite high. For example, we see the input for this scooter and we see the resulting mesh. So once we're going to go a little bit close up to the model, we're going to see that within that smaller thumbnail, the quality looked a lot better, but now the model doesn't look that great, as we can see there is a lot of um, blobbed elements around various areas so keep that in mind where you are checking those models for example over here that scooter looked really good but in reality it wasn't that good for other objects that are simpler such as this x we can see that the input image and the output 3d model is relatively better in terms of quality Still, one of the main drawbacks of the current solution is that the texture are quite low. This also takes into account the initial inputted image. So for my case study, I'm getting a lot of training failed, but I think that has to do with the resolution. So I tried uploading 4K and Full HD photos, even a smaller one, but I'm still getting that training error. But as we can see, this X is a lot better and we can download all of this over here on download. The file format will be GLB and that will open within Blender without any problems. As we can see, Blender. We can go directly to file, import and we're gonna have the GLB for file format over here, go to downloads and we see the last mesh, they will all be named mesh, so the first one and after those will um, have this parentheses and uh, incremental numbering. So we can import this, keep in mind <coughs> that all these models since they are created uh, using an AI they are not scaled so as you can see, we have the default cube from Blender and we see that X in the middle. If I'm going to grab it and move it, that will be our X. And uh, we can also enable the materials. And as we can see, the materials are present on the model. But again, just like I said before, they are not that detailed in terms of resolution. Let's check some others. So this is the experimental mode where it will try to recreate a similar object. But there's also the normal mode where it tries to recreate that original model. So as we can see over here, if I will take a look at this, it has some some problem problems, mainly at the at the face. 
but otherwise it's quite decent considering that it was all generated using a single image you can also load additional so you can expand this list from what i have saw already the best results are with stick figurines so just like um, this alien or this x since it's quite a simple profile the software does a good job over there but this one is also quite interesting so this was the experimental mode and we see those squids that are green at the bottom again it's recommended to select that and take a closer look but in this case the results are quite quite good so feel free to, to explore their database and also feel free to experiment since this is quite an interesting tool that can generate interesting 3d models so we see over here this dolphin quite quite well defined and traced just like the statue that i did within my previous video for statues like this one with the lion we see the initial model and this is the result it's quite detailed maybe just like the car the lion statue should be a, a little bit scaled on this axis but other than that this can be used as some propping elements for some 3d applications okay so i hope you find this this kind of content useful if so please let me know in the comment section if you if you like this kind of content and also i would like to to give a shout out to some of my subscribers as we can see the watch time from uh, subscribers is only at 3.8 percent and um, i would like to have this increase so i want to give a big shout out to those that decided to also subscribe to to this channel keep note that um, this will only include the users who made their subscription public so thanks for the support See you in the next video.